Hi, this is Roland from Lucas Physical Therapy, and I'm going to show you how to implement your own home traction. The indications for this usually are for people that have significant radiating arm pain. It's coming from the neck, especially arm pain that's aggravated by turning towards that side or tipping your head towards that side. So your therapist or me, we may have told you to get one of these. And so inside there, we'll have a look at what you get. So we get instructions which you can throw out. You get a water bag, which has the weight. You get this uh, bar. You get the collar, the shoelace. All right. Now this is the V-bar with the two pulleys attached. Okay. The first thing I want to do is get the pulleys down the bottom. So they're like this. The next thing you do is you take the door attachment. You slide this in here like this. Then you lower it down. You lift it up. And sit it in that hole. And so it ends up looking like this. And this I'm going to go over to the door here. Now beware, because this can damage your door. So put it on top of the door, and you have to sort of pull it down there. And so then the door is going to close like this. So that's there. Next thing you do is you take the shoelace. And then you tie a knot. It. You tie it to the spreader bar with S hook. This is the spreader bar with S hook. It's attached. Leave that there. Now, if you are using the water bag, some people will just tie a weight to the device. Alright, so we're going to use the water bag. Most of my patients will start with 10 pounds. So I'm going to go and fill this up and come back. Okay, I've got the water bag, I filled it up with water, and you know, I've got it at set of 10 pounds, all right? You would be given instructions about how to progress the weight in the water. So I'm going to close it all. I'm going to rest the water bag on the ground. Then I will take the spreader bar and shoelace attached. I will feed that through the, the pulleys. One. Two. Now, with the weight on the ground, I want the spreader bar at the top. Can you see how that's at the top there? So this way, I'm going to attach this. So right now, there's not a lot of tension on the string. So I'm going to attach this securely with your best knot. Alright, so I've attached that. So see, the, the beauty of this is that there's no tension on this when I leave it here. Okay? Now when I pull this up, I'm going to get tension. Now I have no tension. Alright. And I get my chair. My chair wants to be just above here. The back of the chair wants to be just behind this pulley. Maybe just in line with the pulley here. So I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to lean back slightly. My head should be directly under that. You might need someone to check this for you at home. Is that pretty much right under there, Stefania? Yes. Okay. So now I have the collar. The collar has two Velcro straps which go in the front. So that goes in the front. So I get the Velcro strap from the back. I'm going to put one on the front, put the other on the front. 
Okay, now the tricky part of this thing is making sure you're sort of feeling equal pull back and front. Okay, so these rings will slide So this is working pretty good. So this should be sort of pulling above my ear. If these things had slid too far this way, and I put it on, and I put it over my ear, it's pulling the back of my head too much. So that strap, is, it's too short in the back. So then I'll take it off and then I'll, I'll just line this up. And for many of you, can you see this little thing here? That's about where you want the ring, so pull it so it's sort of like that. That sort of works for most people. Show you what. So I want this, when I pull these two straps, I want the ring on that, that thing there. I don't want it like this. What is it there sewing? See how this sewing's here, that strap? See now the sewing and the ring aren't lining up. So then I just sort of pull that there, put the ring on that area, and that should lay flat with tension. All right, same thing here. So I'm gonna get it like that. So for most of you, that would work. We may have marked it with a pen if we gave it to you. So I'm gonna put it on. I take the strap and look in the mirror. Now this strap is coming off my chin, so I need to tighten it. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to do traction. So I come over here. I grab a hold of this thing. I hook one side in. All right, I'm, I switched hands. I hook the other side in. Now I pull on it. I turn around and then I sit down and then I gently let the tension go. Now the, this string should be vertical. If my chair was too far back, it might be like this. Now it's pulling me forward. If my chair was too far forward, it might be like that. So you want a family member or a friend to help you sort of get it so that it's vertical. Is that looking vertical? Yes. All right, and then you just sit here and relax. Your, your torso is meant to be inclined slightly back and your head's meant to be vertical. So I'm not meant to really be like this. So I'm meant to be a little bit leaning back. If you get partial reduction in the radiating pain, then that's a good weight to have on the thing. If you get complete reduction, then when you take off the traction, your pain might shoot way up and have a rebound. So if you get complete reduction of your severe symptoms, decrease some of the weight in the bag and make that your new weight. If you get no change in your symptoms, that's fine. Sit here for 10 minutes, and then tomorrow you will put it up two pounds. And you keep putting up, adding weight until you get some reduction in your symptoms, or you hit 20 pounds. Now to take it off, I could either do what I just did there and release it, or I could pull it down, unhook, let it go. I can reach that, so that's pretty good. Now there's alternate ways to get in. I could put this on sitting here, reach up, Pull it down, hook in. Like so. The other way is leave it all attached, pull it down, slide your head through. Velcro, Velcro.
Now, if your rope is too short and you release the traction and the weight is hanging off the ground like this, let's say my rope was too short and we release the traction, it's going to pull on here and it's going to hang and that's no good. That's why we said put the weight on the ground, whatever you're using, a water bag or a weight, and then tie this, put that at the top and then tie the weight to the, to the thing. All right, so that's traction. Thank you.